hypericum and perforatum. Studies have supported the efficacy of St. John's wort as a treatment for depression in humans. A 2015 meta-analysis review concluded that it has superior efficacy to placebo in treating depression, is as effective as standard antidepressant pharmaceuticals for treating depression, and has fewer adverse effects than other antidepressants. The authors concluded that it is difficult to assign a place for St. John's wart in the treatment of depression owing to limitations in the available evidence base including large variations in efficacy seen in trials performed in German-speaking relative to other countries. It is proposed that the mechanism of action of St. John's Ward is due to the inhibition of reuptake of certain neurotransmitters. A 2008 Cochrane review of 29 clinical trials concluded that it was superior to placebo in patients with major depression, as effective as standard antidepressants and had fewer side effects. According to the National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health, NCCIH, of the National Institutes of Health, it may help some types of depression, though the evidence is not definitive, can limit the efficacy of prescription medicines, and psychosis can occur as a rare side effect. The NCCIH notes that combining St. John's wort with certain prescription antidepressants can lead to a potentially life-threatening increase of serotonin, a brain chemical targeted by antidepressants. A 2016 review came to the same conclusions as the 2008 Cochrane Review, but noted that the quality of evidence in regards to both effectiveness and incidence of adverse effects was reduced relative to that for conventional antidepressants. In Germany, Street John's Ward is sometimes prescribed for mild to moderate depression, especially in children and adolescents.